So this question is a diagram question. We have this large picture here provided to us. Lots of things have been um, identified and labeled already. So let's just get straight into the question to see if there's anything that we need to continue to label this with or just to further understand. So the question says a grain silo is built from two right circular cones, right? So we see a cone up here on top and we see a cone down here on bottom um, with internal measurements represented by the figure above. So we see the measurements, looks like the height is five feet, looks like the radius is also five feet for the cones. Of the following, which is closest to the volume of the grain silo in cubic feet? All right, well, we're looking for the volume. And we know that this grain silo has two right circular cones and a right circular cylinder. So how do we find the volume for a cone? Well, the volume for a cone is the formula Y, I'm sorry, V equals one third pi r squared h. All right, so we know we have two of those, right? So cone one and cone two are the exact same measurements. So you know that we're going to eventually multiply this entire volume by two. And then the volume for the cylinder, a volume for a cylinder is v equals pi r squared h. And we only have one cylinder, obviously, so we'll just use that. So we're going to practically add these two volumes together in order to solve this question. So what do we know about the cone? Well, we know that, so again, I have my one third pi, the radius of the cone is five. So I'm gonna just put parentheses five squared and the height is also five. So just times another five. So let's simplify this. So um, in fact, it's better to use our calculator because I just looked at the answer choices and I see that pi isn't present in the answer choices, so we need to include it here. So I'm gonna say five squared is 25, times five is 125, and 125 times pi is 392.7, but then I'm multiplying that by one third, so I would just divide by three, because it's the same thing. So what I get here is that's 130.89, but again, um, I have two cones, I'll multiply that by two. So the final here that I get is 261.8. And then for the cylinder, again, I have pi. The radius for the cylinder is the same as the radius for the cone. So that's going to be, again, another five squared. And then the height for the cylinder is actually 10. So in my calculator, five squared is 25. 25 times 10 is 250. 250 times pi is 785.4. I add those two together, 785.4 plus 261.8. And what I get is 1047.2, which is the exact answer as choice D. Okay, so then, you know, how did I know these formulas? Well, I've memorized these. You don't have to. These are on the first page of your math section, right? The first page of the math test for the SAT contains formulas. And these formulas for the volume of, of a cylinder, for the volume of a cone, are both contained there. So if you're answering question 25 and did not know that, you could always flip back to that first page um, write those formulas down and then come back to answer the question.